Hi yogis, if you like a good back bend, you probably love camel pose as much as I do. I have two quick tips on how you can um, either correct some form or get deeper into this pose and greater, add greater benefit to your back bend practice. So I always start out with blocks, no matter what I'm doing. Have your blocks present. You may use them, you may not. Our bodies vary from day to day, and I'll show you a couple ways to use them today. So most often for camel pose, we kind of come into it, knees lined up under hips, toes turned under or flat. Let's do toes turned under today. And a lot of us, me included, will just walk our hands up and go whoop, right into our back bend. Let's take a little extra step today. Start with your hands on your hips. Start to lower your booty towards your heels. Pause there, tilt the pelvis up. You're tucking your butt under, your tailbone under, tilt the pelvis up. Now rise up, feel how you already have that greater curve that you're starting into, and then walk your hands up, roll those shoulders back and down. Maybe you like to do prayer hands, reverse prayer hands. So again, hands on hips, booty goes back towards the heels, tilt the pelvis up, tailbone under, then rise up. Now, if you wanna go deeper, and a lot of us do, you can take your blocks and have them ready to lean back on. I'm gonna go back on my heels, but one more tip. So I did that tilt. I might start walking my hands up. Now I wanna make sure my hip is aligned over my knee. So when I go back, I bet get adding that back bend, nice and deep, rolling my shoulders back, hip over knee. See the difference? If I go back like this, I totally lose that nice curve. So don't think that the magic isn't touching your heels. The magic is right here in alignment. If you're going to release out of that, you're ready to release out, you might wanna just sit back on your heels. Block is great here, bring space. Sometimes we're too tight, we can't do this deep knee bend. So consider a block. And also another release is your child's pose. Wide knees all the way down. Last thing. We don't ever jump out of bed and go right into a camel pose, right? Do your sun salutations, your warm up, get your body, your spine warmed up before you take on such a deep back bend.